Here comes Dr. Sparks. Here he comes. Out on an adventure. Oh, yeah. Using science. We're using science. To get things done. That's Dr. Sparks. Today, we're going to do our first experiment, which is walk along gliders. Our second mission pack is called Hoop Gliders. Our mission three mission kit. Today's kit is called Vortex Flyer. Mission Pack 4 is titled Cup Spinners. Mission Kit number 5, which is Balloon Rockets. Two. Is there a fire? No, sir. It's to help me spin. A chair, your hands, or even your friend. <laughs> vortex, vortex, vortex. <laughs> Ooh, let's go. <laughs> Welcome to the vortex. Hold the front line down. So just pinch it over the book like we did before. One side bends down and we want the other side to bend up. So turn your tin foil over, put your template back on top, and line it up again. Now we have one side going up, one side going down. It is a rectangle. That means two sides are short and two sides are long. I want to cut this into three strips. So if it's nine centimeters wide, can you tell me how many times does three go into nine? Nine divided by three, let's see. Three, six, nine. Yeah, three goes into nine three times. When we hold it, we're gonna make the letter C with our hands. Kind of like we're holding a cup. So everybody pick it up like a cup and pretend like you're going to drink it. Mm, this looks tasty. Yeah? Remember, the way that you wrap the rubber band around the cup is really important. Always start on the top, pull the rubber band towards yourself, and then wrap it under and over the cup again. You can put your jag wing on the top of the board, right here. The little piece of paper in the front should lift up the nose a little bit. Now, tilt your board down. As you start to tilt it, you should see your jag wing start to slide down. Your jag wing will start to slide down. The air will deflect up, and your jag wing will start to fly. We're gonna hold on to it like this, and when we launch it, what we wanna do is push the back down. Push it down, and that way, we're gonna get it spinning backwards. 
We want the tumblewing glider to turn quickly and fall slowly and straight. The way that we throw them vortex fire is kind of how a quarterback throws a football. Yeah, yeah. when a quarterback throws a football, he gets that spin going on it. And that spin is what we call a spiral. That's one of the reasons why a football can be thrown so far. Let me get some spinning motion going beside me here and I'll show you what I mean. Ah, check it out right over here. When they slow the air down over here, the air inside gets to be more. More air, more air pressure. Outside there's less air, less air pressure. Inside there's more air, more air pressure. And that's part of the key to getting our Vortex Flyer to fly really well. Do you know what this is? It's an elevator. Now we're gonna add something to our Jagwing Glider that helps it go up too. We're not gonna add an elevator, but we are gonna add an elevon. Airplanes use elevons on their wings as well. It changes the direction of the air and helps elevate the airplane or lift it up higher in the air. Now there is a lot of energy inside this balloon, but is it using the energy yet? No, it's not. The energy inside this balloon is stored and it's ready to go. We call this potential energy or ready energy. When we release the balloon, the potential energy is going to change into kinetic energy or go energy. And it's gonna create the thrust we need to launch our balloon rocket. We're using science to get this done. That's Dr. Sparks showing you science.